Hello, my name is Puya Safar, a Dean of the Paralegal Program at California University of Management and Sciences. Thank you so much for joining us today. Sitting to the next of me is Assistant Dean of the University, Sasha Safar. Uh, we will be uh, answering questions at the end of the presentation. So if you have any questions, please feel free uh, to write them down. Uh, and we will definitely spend at least 20 minutes at the end of the presentation uh, to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, the Assistant Dean Sasha will help me with those uh, questions as well, uh, as far as any administrative questions go. The first question you may be asking is, what does a paralegal do? A paralegal is a person who assists attorneys with many different types of legal tasks including preparing for trial, conducting legal research, drafting legal documents, and writing legal briefs and memoranda. So essentially to summarize that, a paralegal can do pretty much anything that an attorney can do except represent clients in court. So you have a lot of flexibility. A paralegal can either work in a law office under, uh, under the close supervision of an attorney or you can actually open up your own uh, paralegal firm. And paralegals also make great incomes, ranging from $55,000 to $70,000 a year or more. So it's a great and relatively quick way uh, to make a lot of money. And as we'll talk about a little bit later, there's a great demand for paralegals in the current economy. The next question you might be asking yourself is, why would you want to study in California? Uh, there are many reasons. You know, we see California in movies and throughout the world in media, and it's just, it's the center of the universe. First of all, California has the largest GDP of all 50 states of the United States. If California was its own economy, it would be one of the top economies in the world. Uh, it is a very large business and legal community in Orange County and Los Angeles County with a need for qualified paralegals. The great thing at Cal UMS is not only are we located close to Anaheim, a very large legal community, we're also located only 40 minutes away from LA County, which has over 10 million people and has a huge business and legal community. So there's no shortage of jobs. There are so many things to do on the weekends here in, in Southern California and in Orange County. You can literally, in the same day, snowboard during the day and then go surfing uh, that same day. Uh, there are great mountain resorts just located an hour drive away from campus, uh, such as Big Bear and Lake Arrowhead. If you're willing to take a little trip on the weekend, just a five-hour drive away is Mammoth Mountain, uh, which is one of the top ski resorts uh, in the country, if not the world. So there are no shortage of activities to do. You can literally go whale watching during the day and paddle during the night. Again, the beaches in Southern California, in Orange County and Los Angeles are some of the top beaches uh, in the world. You can spend the day on the beach. Just 20 minutes away from Cal UMS is beautiful Newport Beach and Laguna Beach. And just about a 40 minute drive up the coast is the world famous Santa Monica Beach and Venice Beach, where you can find all type of different artists, street performers, and just a counterculture movement. Uh, there's so many things to do and it's so enjoyable. And some of the top beaches in the world are simply within an hour's drive away. And you can also become a part of huge music festivals. Uh, there are yearly music festivals such as Coachella, uh, which brings performers from throughout the world. Um, and various other festivals, there's a huge music community, uh, especially in the city of Los Angeles, which is very close. You can also go flying a balloon and wine tasting. Uh, there is a Temecula located about an hour away, which has uh, amazing wines, uh, wineries. California is considered one of the top wine producing areas in the world. Uh, so you can either go to Temecula, which is only an hour away, or if you take a quick trip uh, in the weekend, you can go to Napa Valley uh, in the Bay Area. All of that is very convenient, and there's simply so much you can do. 
You can also go visit many of the national parks in California. In California, you have Yosemite National Park uh, with the giant sequoias, as you can see in the picture, uh, which is so beautiful. Uh, you have Mammoth uh, and you have uh, Death Valley National Park. There are so many uh, beautiful national parks in the state of California for you to enjoy. So to summarize, essentially Southern California is not only a beautiful place to study with all of the resources and the business uh, community there, but it is such a beautiful place to live. We literally get sunshine about 330 days out of 365. Uh, so you can just imagine that you're literally waking up to beautiful sunny skies uh, every single day. Who wouldn't want to live in there? So Orange County is Cal UMS's home. The population of Orange County is 3 million people. So again, there's a huge business and legal community. And again, we're only located about 40 minutes from Los Angeles County, where there's another 10 million people. So there's a huge population. And Orange County is centrally located. So the good news is you're only about an hour drive from Los Angeles County, only about an hour drive from San Diego County, and only about an hour drive from Riverside and San Bernardino counties. The county is famous because of tourism and some of the most beautiful beaches on the West Coast, and also the country is headquarters to many of the Fortune 500 companies. Anaheim, the city where Cal UMS is in, has some of the greatest amusement parks in the world. Disneyland, which is one of the top amusement parks, is located literally one exit away in Anaheim. And Knott's Berry Farm, another famous theme park, is located just a couple miles away in Buena Park. Also, there's a great amount of sports in Southern California. Not only do you have the famous Los Angeles Lakers just an hour away in LA, you also have the Anaheim Angels uh, who play about 10 minutes away, and the Mighty Ducks, who also play in Anaheim. So there's no shortage of activities for those who enjoy sports. Cal UMS is also located very close to two of the most beautiful cities in the world, uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood, where there's so many things to do if you're interested in movies and uh, entertainment and sports, and also San Diego, which is just such a beautiful city. Now let me tell you a little about California University of Management and Sciences. The university was organized in 1998 and operates in Anaheim, California. The university offers an associate degree in the paralegal program, which we're going to talk about today, a bachelor and master's degree in business administration, international management, information systems, and other programs as well. Cal UMS is fully licensed and accredited uh, by the Bureau of Private Post-Secondary Education, uh, BPPE as it's known, of the state of California. And it's also accredited by the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools, which is ACICS, to award certificate, associate, bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees. So you, the degree you get from Cal UMS is fully licensed and accredited. Cal UMS, we have a very long history uh, here at the school. We have already graduated over 1,000 students from Cal UMS, and we're planning on graduating many more in the future. Hopefully you can be a part of that. Now I wanna talk about why studying at Cal UMS is so enjoyable. As you can see by some of these pictures, what we do at Cal UMS is not only integrate um, a very um, strong emphasis on the educational aspect and the theoretical aspect, but we also try to integrate some enjoyable activities as well. We try to exchange cultural events by having events like potlucks, cultural exchanges. Uh, we have events at the end of every quarter uh, where we have meet and greets with different students from different cultural backgrounds. And we have a large uh, group of international students, uh, not only in the paralegal program, but also in the other programs that we have at the school, such as the MBA program and the undergraduate programs that we have. 
So as you can see from some of these pictures, we believe in working hard on your studies, but also having an enjoyable time and going on various field trips, um, you know, to get to know your fellow students and to enjoy your time because you're living in beautiful Southern California. So why not enjoy it? Next, what I want to talk about is why studying law is so important. Some of you might be, might be asking, why, why would I want to study law in the first place? Law affects every part of your life. And there's so many important legal issues that are currently in the news. You may have seen them. One is, for example, the health care law. Recently in the United States, uh, Congress passed the Affordable Health Care Law, which essentially guarantees everyone health care uh, like must, much of the rest of the world. But it was a very controversial law. At the same time, it's actually opened up a lot of opportunities for paralegals uh, because a lot of that law and a lot of the codes and regulations have to be implemented by paralegals. Another great uh, opportunity for paralegals practicing is in the area of immigration. Uh, paralegals do must, much of the work of immigration because there's a lot of form filling. There's adjustment of status forms, there's citizenship forms, there's permanent residency forms. It's just a very form intensive area of law. And that's why paralegals are used very much so in the area of immigration law. And a few of the immigration laws that have passed recently is the DREAM Act, which is a type of a deferred action on immigration petitions that was granted a couple years ago. And paralegals are being used a lot to deal with the paperwork from the DREAM Act. And definitely in California, there's a huge uh, immigrant, immigrant population. So there's great opportunity for paralegals to work in immigration. And also there has been talk of comprehensive immigration reform. And even though it hasn't passed, it is likely to pass within the next couple of years. And if comprehensive immigration reform is passed by Congress, then there will be a, an extremely high demand uh, for paralegals to help prepare those petitions for comprehensive immigration reform. As well, paralegals are used in international law as well. Whether you can use it in your home country, you can work for a global agency like the United Nations or Amnesty International or another public interest agency, having a knowledge of the law is extremely important. And you can actually use a lot of the legal concepts that you learn in the United States in other countries. A lot of people may not understand the United States legal system is based on the British system of common law, which was then implemented in many different countries, many countries that were influenced by or, or at one point controlled by England, uh, such as India and, and other countries like that, uh, Australia. You have a very similar system in the United States as the United States legal system. So if you have a good grasp and understanding of the American legal system, you can actually take that knowledge uh, to your home country and have a great knowledge of uh, how uh, things work legally in your own country. What are some of the career opportunities as a paralegal? You might be asking, what can I do with my degree? And the, and the answer to that shortly is a lot. The career opportunities as a paralegal are very great. So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics from the United States, the employment of paralegals is projected to grow 22% between 2006 and 2016, much faster than the average for all occupations. And that's very significant when you consider that the United States is still struggling with the aftermaths of a recession. So at a time that many jobs are being cut, many professions, even within law, like lawyers are being cut, paralegals are growing and even replacing lawyers. Um, and they're growing much faster than the average for all occupations. Many law firms are choosing to hire paralegals over attorneys because it is more cost effective. Paralegals can handle most of the same tasks as attorneys. As I mentioned early, uh, earlier, the only thing that paralegals cannot do is represent clients in court. But all of the research, all of the preparation for trial, uh, all of the tasks behind the scenes, data interpretation and analysis can be handled by paralegals. 
So there's no need to spend an attorney's time and the amount of money that an attorney charges to have an attorney do that when a paralegal can do that in a much more cost-effective manner. And finally, areas such as bankruptcy law, immigration law, landlord-tenant, and civil litigation are very paper-intensive. It involves filling a lot, a lot of paperwork. Law firms would much rather hire paralegals to prepare the documents than attorneys who are much more expensive, naturally. What's the importance of a legal education? You might be thinking, how does the law affect my life? Well, the law affects really every aspect of your life, from the second you wake up to when you go to sleep. When you get in your car, you have to worry about traffic laws. You can't be pulled over by a police. You want to know, am I filling out my taxes correctly? Am I doing something um, that's illegal or not? Uh, you know, if someone, you know, does something to violate my rights, if you don't know the law, you really become a victim in society. So whether it's tax laws, criminal laws, traffic laws, uh, legal, uh, legal aspects affect every part of your life. So, and so students find that knowledge of law helpful in their daily lives. I have many students who come up to me because I practice landlord uh, tenant law and I also teach it in the paralegal program. And a lot of students are renting apartments around the campus. And they come to me uh, when they have disputes with their landlord and they ask me, you know, how can I get out of this lease? Or the landlord promised that he would fix something in my apartment and he didn't. What can I do? And I have to advise these students. Um, it, so it's definitely helpful to have a knowledge of law, even in your daily life. And finally, the study of the US Constitution and federal and state laws is important to an appreciation of living in America, because that model was also transported to a lot of other countries. So what we try to do is try to have a comparative approach, because we have many uh, international students is to have a comparative approach where we compare and contrast the American system, a legal system and system of government to the systems that may be, may be in your home country or in other countries. And we try to point out the positive aspects of the American system, but also the negative aspects of the American system. So we try to stay objective. Next, let's talk about some of the career opportunities uh, as a paralegal. As a paralegal, you can work with attorneys in a law office, and that's where a lot of paralegals work with attorneys in a law office. However, you can also work in a paralegal firm or even open up your own paralegal office, giving you more flexibility. That's one of the nice things about working in law is you really have a lot of flexibility to do your own thing, to do your own business. You don't have to be dependent on someone else. Let me tell you a little about the Cal uh, UMS paralegal program and how it's structured. In the Cal UMS paralegal program, we emphasize practical skills as well as theoretical legal knowledge. And I really want to emphasize the practical skills aspect. One major criticism of legal education in general whether it's law school or paralegal school, is that there's too much emphasis placed on just theory and theoretical knowledge. And not even theoretical knowledge that about the state of California's laws, but just the, uh, theoretical knowledge about archaic laws, laws that happened in 1600 England that don't even apply uh, to current practice. What we try to do at Cal UMS is really emphasize not only the laws in the state of California, uh, where you may be practicing, but in other countries as well, but we also emphasize practical skills, which is very important. In all of your classes, you're going to be uh, studying under actual attorneys, and you're going to be preparing actual legal documents, whether it's immigration petitions, family law petitions, bankruptcy petitions, you're going to be preparing actual legal documents so that when you're ready to practice, uh, you're, when you're actually ready to practice as a paralegal, you'll have done it before. I think that's very important. As well, we emphasize our internship program, which we're also going to talk about in a little bit, of giving you actual practical experience so that when you graduate, you won't need to be trained anymore by the law firm you go to work at. 
You will learn hands-on training from attorneys in the field on how to prepare documents and know why you are preparing documents a certain way. That's very important, not only to prepare the documents, but to know the theory and the logic behind why you're preparing those documents. Again, so when you're ready to practice as a paralegal, you will already have prepared the documents that you will see in your job. And you can put that in your resume. And that's a major difference. It'll make your resume stick out very much and stand out and be on the top of the list compared to a lot of other people applying for the job. So more information about the Cal UMS paralegal program. You will also receive a strong foundation of theory in the areas of law that many of you will practice, including immigration law, bankruptcy law, family law, civil litigation, and many other areas. As I just mentioned, and as I'll mention in a little bit more detail uh, a little bit later, we only hire as faculty members actual practicing attorneys who are practicing currently in the fields that they're teaching so that you know that you're going to be taught by an expert in the field. We have faculty members who are practicing in LA and Orange County. And we have a strong emphasis on our internship program to pair students with law firms to get hands-on experience so that they will be ready to practice as a paralegal upon graduation. We'll definitely talk about the externship program in a minute. And finally, at Cal UMS, we are dedicated to students. We're dedicated to students that, it, that ensuring that they're successful both during their time in the school and upon graduation. We love to say at Cal UMS that we have an open door policy. Uh, most of the faculty are here during great parts of the week, and you can always feel free to come in uh, to the office hours and talk to a professor about anything. Um, and a lot of students do that. It's more of a family environment than a professor-student uh, environment. It's a very collegial and uh, everyone is very nice to each other at Cal UMS. Um, our department here at Cal UMS will kind of assist you in, in trying to help locate a job once you graduate. We will also review resumes and discuss interview tips so that you will be prepared to get the job of your dreams. So we won't just send you unprepared out there in the job market. We'll help review resumes, give you interview tips, and kind of discuss strategies for helping land the job of your dreams. A little bit about myself uh, as the Dean of the Paralegal Program. So I'm not only the Dean of the Paralegal Program, but I've also been teaching at Cal UMS for several years. And I've been teaching classes in business law, ethics, uh, sports law, as well as the paralegal law, uh, law classes. I graduated cum laude from the University of California, Berkeley, and I attended nearby Chapman University School of Law, uh, where I published a paper in the Chapman Law Review. I graduated from Chapman with a doctorate of jurisprudence, and I'm currently a practicing lawyer in Anaheim. So I practice nearby, and I'm a member of the California State Bar and the District Court for the Central District of California, which is just the federal court. I have volunteered at Legal Aid Society of Orange County and the Public Law Center. So if we need to try to get some students to be in interns in those local organizations, I can serve uh, I can serve as kind of a network to place students uh, into those organizations potentially. And then I want to talk about some of our top-notch faculty members. Uh, we, again, as I mentioned, we only hire faculty members who are practicing attorneys in the areas of law that they teach. So I teach, area, for example, I teach uh, landlord-tenant law and bankruptcy law. And the reason I teach that is because I'm actually practicing in those areas of law. We will only hire faculty who teach in those areas of law. And you'll be taking classes from actual attorneys. And most importantly, you will be taught in small crap classrooms where the professors get to know you and you can learn the material well. If you notice in, the, in a lot of uh, universities in California, such as UCs and other schools, you're taught in classrooms where there's literally hundreds of students in the class. And it's shocking how difficult it is to learn when you don't even know your professor. 
when you don't even understand what they're saying, when it's so difficult to get one-on-one -on -one personal attention. But one great thing about this university is we never have uh, classes or rarely have classes with more than 10 to 15 students. You get a lot of personal attention uh, at this university. Let me talk a little about the program curriculum, what classes you're required to take and what classes are electives that you can take. So first are the major courses. These are the required courses that you have to take in the paralegal program. First, there's a course called Introduction to Paralegal Studies. And this class is simply an introductory course on just the general information about what paralegals do, how they conduct their day, um, what kind of activities paralegals are required to do. It's just an introductory course. Next is a very important course, which is Ethics in the Paralegal Profession. And Ethics in the Paralegal Profession obviously deals with how to run an ethical paralegal profession, how to be ethical as a paralegal, not to do anything that violates the trust of your law firm and that violates the trust of your clients. That's very important because paralegals as well as attorneys can get in trouble, and we really focus on ethics and running a clean business uh, here at Cal UMS. A next class we really focus on, which is actually a two-quarter class because it is so important, is legal research and writing for paralegals. One of the most important skills that you can have as a paralegal is knowing how to write. And it's shocking that so many paralegals do not know how to write well. But we make sure that every graduate here at Cal UMS knows how to write and to research very well because that's going to be one of the major signs of success uh, at any job that you're in. Next, we deal with civil litigation, uh, or essentially suing someone, as it's known. And of course, civil litigation is a major uh, uh, area of law in Southern California. If you notice, if you come to Southern California, there's a lot of cars uh, on the road. Hence, there's a lot of accidents. So there's a huge demand for civil litigation, and paralegals play a major role in civil litigation. So certainly we teach you the basics on how to assist attorneys and law firms in civil litigation. Business law, as we mentioned earlier, Orange County, Los Angeles, and Southern California in general have one of the major business and corporate communities in uh, the world with many, many Fortune 500 companies. So we teach you the basics of business law in Cal UMS. Property law, this is one of the foundations of a paralegal program is learning property transactions, which includes real estate transactions, landlord tenant law, a very, very uh, many different types of law within property law. Wills, trusts, and probates essentially deals with uh, creating various documents for when someone is about to die, essentially, oh, such as wills and trusts. Okay, so this is obviously a very important area of law with a very kind of aging uh, area, uh, community in Southern California. Tort law, which is again suing people under both negligence and strict liability. And this is an area, one of the foundations of uh, the program's curriculum. And finally, criminal law. Obviously, criminal law plays a major role uh, in, in every type of legal system. So we, we definitely focus on criminal law as well. Then in the paralegal program, you have some flexibility to pick your elective courses. Different students obviously are interested in different areas of law and they're interested in practicing in different areas of law. So what we try to do is give you uh, several options on different areas of law that you can take courses in. You can take classes in family law. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, uh, Southern California has one of the highest divorce rates in the world. So actually there's a huge demand for family law firms and a huge demand for family law paralegals. Uh, so this is an area that many students are interested in and it's a very good area of law to practice. So taking a, a class in family law is a very good idea. Another very high area of law with the recent recession has been bankruptcy law. 
and many students are interested in bankruptcy law. And one of the great things about our program, again, is we have attorneys teaching the class with experience. And you will learn from their experience directly. You will learn how to prepare a Chapter 7 bankruptcy petition and a Chapter 13 bankruptcy petition. These are all things that you're going to be doing if you work for a bankruptcy law firm. So instead of having a bankruptcy law firm teach you for six months or 12 months on how to do these things, you will learn them here in our program. Sports law. Again, Southern California has a huge sports community. And one of the great things about Cal UMS is we have a large sports law program independently at the university. So we can kind of integrate those classes together and use the best of both worlds to combine the sports law classes with the paralegal classes and the paralegal classes with the sports law classes. And finally, administrative law. Administrative law is a, a, a type of law where you deal with government agencies, essentially. And so this area of law is very important for anyone who's interested in working for the government. And also landlord-tenant law. Again, a lot of students find landlord-tenant law not only important because of it's a major important area of law, but also because a lot of them may be in leases. And if you're in a, in a lease and you want to know how do I deal with my landlord, this may be an area of law that you find very helpful for your own knowledge. One thing that we really emphasize, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, is the internship requirement. And I want to really talk about that a little bit more right now. So since there is no substitute for practical experience, there's a 240-hour mandatory internship as part of the graduation requirements. Students will have the ability to practice the concepts they learned in class in a real-world law firm environment. The university will assist students in getting placed at local law firms. So we'll help you get these jobs at local law firms to serve as your internship. Students will feel confident knowing that they will be prepared to work as a paralegal upon graduating from Cal UMS. And some students may be asking, well, will I get paid for this internship? And unfortunately, the answer is no, but you will be getting units towards your graduation. And because this is a mandatory internship, we have, to, uh, um, we have to give it for units, not for uh, pay. But one good aspect is when you do the internship, the experience you get in the internship can be used to apply for OPT, or optional practical training, uh, which a lot of students are obviously interested in to work for a year after they graduate. And that experience that you do in that internship can help you land a paying job after uh, you graduate the paralegal program at Cal UMS. So you get the units now while you're in school, and then you'll get paid later uh, when you actually work as part of your OPT. Again, an emphasis on practical legal skills. Aside from the internship requirement, most classes will have a practical aspect where students will be writing actual legal documents like they would do in a law firm. And also a very important aspect that I want to mention is that professors will take students on field trips to law firms and also to courts so that students will experience how it is to be a practicing paralegal. When you go to an actual court, you'll see a very interesting experience. You may see things that you wouldn't expect, like, for example, judges yelling at attorneys and kind of various crazy, hectic situations. So it's very interesting to kind of see that while you're still in school, not when you're actually practicing, because you could be intimidating when you're actually practicing as a paralegal. But when you kind of get exposed to kind of the tension and anxiety and the stress of a courtroom before you even graduate, it'll make you even more prepared when you're ready to practice. I want to emphasize how great it is being a paralegal and how much it can help you in your career, if you, especially if you're looking for a change of careers. So as I mentioned earlier, demand for paralegals is very high, especially in the current economy. There will be an 18% increase in the demand for paralegals in the next 10 years. And you can also earn a very high and stable income as a paralegal. 
the industry average salary as of May 2012 was $46,990 a year. But the top paralegals, which we definitely are trying to train you to become a top paralegal and a specialist in your field, can earn more than $75,000 a year. As a matter of fact, the top 10% of paralegals earn more than $75,410 a year. And it's not surprising to see paralegals make actually much more than that. And why you should get an associate's degree. This is very important. Students want to ask, why should I get an associate's degree? Why do I need to spend two years doing it? And a very simple answer for that. It's competitiveness. You want to distinguish yourself from other students who are out there and other people who are out there in the job market who don't have that experience. If you compare your resume and you have all these theoretical knowledge and all these classes that you took in the area that the law firm is going to be practicing, and you can show that you've prepared these petitions before, you've prepared immigration petitions before, you've prepared bankruptcy petitions before, you've done all of that, plus you've done a 240-hour internship where you've gained practical experience in that area and you've studied for two full years in a very competitive paralegal program, that's going to make your resume stand out from every other applicant in the field. It's very easy to apply to be a paralegal, but it's very difficult to get a job if you don't have the requirements that are necessary. You need to distinguish yourself from the tens, if not hundreds of other applicants that are applying for every paralegal job. Employers will know that when you graduate from Cal UMS, you're ready to contribute immediately. I know as an attorney, one of the major things that kind of upset and anger law firms is when paralegals are hired and they don't know what they're doing. They need to train them for six months or they need to train them for one year. Law firms don't have the time and money to do that. They would rather have a paralegal who's ready to contribute the first day. What, the other nice thing that we do at Cal UMS is we prepare you for NALA certification. So NALA stands for the National Association of Legal Assistants. And what that is, is it's a major organization, one of the top organizations for paralegal certification. And essentially what a certificate does is it again is a boost to your resume. It's another way to distinguish yourself from every other person who's applying to be a paralegal or legal assistant. Having a NALA certificate makes you very competitive in the field. You will distinguish yourself as having an extremely high level of education and practical training that other people don't have. And law firms will consider your resume on the top of the list above all others. So what we do at Cal UMS, not only in the classes we teach, but also separately, is we will prepare you for the NALA exam so that you can be certified as a paralegal and have a advantage over all the other people who are applying. So what are some of the minimum requirements to be admitted to the paralegal program? You must have a high school diploma and the additional requirements for international students is that you need to have an official transcript and proof of English proficiency, which is either the TOEFL, the IELTS, or the Cal UMS English Proficiency Assessment Test. So the deadlines to apply to the program are the following. The paralegal program at Cal UMS is a quarterly system. So the good news is that you can start your classes any quarter. It just doesn't have to be just the fall quarter. So the deadline for the fall quarter is August 1st, but I want to let you guys know that you can still apply for the fall quarter. Um, this time around, we are extending the deadline so you can still apply for the fall quarter, but please uh, note that the fall quarter starts in October. So please try to get your applications in as soon as possible uh, in August, and if not August, early in September. The winter quarter deadline is November 1st, the spring quarter deadline is February 1st, and the summer quarter is May 1st. And what we're offering is a special tuition reduction and scholarship opportunities. I've already gotten a lot of questions from students regarding scholarship opportunities and tuition reduction. 
What we're doing special just for this year is to offer a reduce uh, a reduction in tuition uh, from the usual amount uh, per quarter. We're literally cutting that amount in half um, for students only for this year. So it's very important that students uh, apply this year if they want to be um, to qualify for that scholarship. So you get a, literally a half uh, reduction in your tuition. As well, there are many scholarship opportunities when you actually uh, arrive on campus based on volunteer uh, activities and need. And once you've actually attained the scholarship, you can keep it based on merit. And what merit means is that if your grades uh, stay up, if you keep good grades, you can keep your scholarship at the university. So in summary, I just want to answer the question why you should study at the paralegal program at Cal UMS. First of all, you're studying from experts, actual attorneys in their field of law. And again, as we showed you in the slides in the beginning, you get to live in beautiful Southern California where you're so close to amazing beaches, Disneyland, Hollywood, mountains, and so many other activities, not to mention that it's almost never rains. It's sunny almost every single day of the year and 75, 80 degrees, beautiful weather every day. And also you get a practical legal education with an internship component so that you will be prepared to practice as a paralegal upon graduating. Once you graduate, you'll be ready to become a paralegal and you won't need to be trained by your law firm. And also you get to be part of a supportive community when you can share your cultural experiences and make new friends. That's one of the greatest aspects of Cal UMS is we really like a family. We really have activities, potlucks, and events at various amusement parks and things every quarter so that people really get to know each other and professors know students by their first names, um, students know professors by their first names, and we're really a family environment here at Cal UMS and I'm hoping that you guys can join us. So please remember to stay connected with us. You can like us at Facebook at facebook.com slash California University of Management and Sciences. You can definitely get more information on the program over there. Um, and also if you want more information on the program, we do have a page on College Week Live. Uh, you may be on that page right now. Uh, to be uh, seeing this broadcast. But if you go to the Cal UMS page, you can look it up, C-A-L-U-M-S. Um, you can get more information, like a brochure for the program, uh, information on requirements to apply, uh, an application for the program, and also uh, information for students and international students. Um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Puya Safar. And I will now, for about the next uh, 17 minutes or so, uh, answer any questions that you may have. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to email me. My email is right there, p-o-o-y-a dot s-a-f-a-r at calums dot e-d-u. Okay? So um, at this stage, if uh, there's nothing else to do, then... Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and, okay, just to let you know, um, just to, for the TOEFL score, um, that we need a uh, 45 uh, IBT score for the paralegal program, if there's a question on that. Just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, now let me check uh, some of the questions that we have. And uh, what I will do for everyone uh, who is there is I will, and uh, also the assistant dean will help me, um, try to answer as many questions as we can in about the 16 minutes that we have, and uh, I will answer on video. Okay, so the first question uh, doesn't have to do as much with uh, the paralegal program, but it's a question on if we have a program in international development, international relations, or human rights? I think the assistant dean would be better to answer that question. Yeah, well, we have courses in uh, international business and uh, international studies. So 
uh, you'd be getting a lot of that information with the international relations within that program. Right, and also just to add to that, I also teach a class on uh, kind of uh, business law and global business law, so uh, you would get some kind of uh, exposure to that as well. Uh, but there is a, not a formal international uh, kind of human rights uh, curriculum here. Okay, hopefully that answers that question. Um, Okay, so the next question is, what advantages do you have for international students compared to other universities? I'll, I'll answer that, and then if the assistant dean wants to add anything to that, he can. I think one major advantage we have, and I kind of mentioned that in the presentation, is the small classroom sizes we have. Um, me, as I mentioned, uh, I went to UC Berkeley, and a UC system, you're literally in a classroom with anywhere from 400 to uh, 700 uh, students. And so it's almost impossible to learn when you're in a classroom that's so big. Um, and I think that just is, is so difficult to learn. Here we have such small classrooms, so much personal attention. And one thing is, we are literally our university is centered around international students. The vast majority of students in the school are international students from every country. So if you want a friend from your country, there's so many people from so many different countries here at Cal UMS. Uh, so you won't feel like, oh, you're only one or two international students filled with a bunch of American students that you can't relate to. You will have many friends from your own country here at Cal UMS, and you'll have small uh, classrooms. As well as, as that, we also emphasize really our paralegal program on the internship. You have a in mandatory internship here, um, which will give you not only, as I said, the units, but also for international students, you can use that to very much strengthen your chance of getting OPT. So I think a lot of international students um, really like the fact that they can get OPT. And, and, and one more point too is the low tuition. Uh, if you check, we have one of the lowest tuitions in uh, California, if not the United States. So a lot of students have been asking about scholarships and how much the tuition is. You can rest assured that we have one of the lowest tuitions in uh, Southern California. And as I mentioned, we have 50% off the tuition. We also have uh, many universities require you to take the TOEFL before you enter. If you do not have the, uh, if you have not taken the TOEFL exam, you may take it upon entering into the university. And, uh, if you do not meet that 45 IBT score, then you're able to do English language development, at which point uh, you can improve your English throughout your uh, program and uh, study as well. Okay. All right, next question. May I know whether MIS course is available? Yeah, so we have many uh, uh, management information system courses that we do offer. Uh, you can look within the various programs and see that we offer MIS courses within each field. So we do have those courses available. Okay. Uh, uh, the next question is, what is the percent of employees uh, after graduating your university? Okay, so basically the question about um, the percentage of employment, uh, the employment percentage after graduation, um, basically that's one that, um, you know, we have to, uh, if you can basically private email me on that one, we have the statistics on the website, um, we, we can't, we don't have that right now available, okay. So the next question is, uh, how is it, uh, I'm engaged with extracurricular, but how important is it for your university? Oh, um, extracurricular activities are obviously very important. Um, part of the application process is a statement of intent where you write down uh, why you're applying to the university and a little bit about your bra uh, background. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think it's very important to have extracurricular activities, uh, mainly because we also uh, emphasize volunteer activities and social activities on the campus. So uh, I think it's very important uh, to us and we definitely take that under consideration. Okay. Uh, so, so we should go here. Um, so the, uh, we do not require the SAT um, for 
the program, but as we mentioned, we do require for the TOEFL a 45 IBT score uh, for the paralegal program. Okay, um, and the, the master's in it? Yeah, so uh, we do have a master's in computer information system. You can check out our website for more information. Okay. All right. The next question is, uh, I have just completed my high school. Now I want a student visa to get admission for graduation in management program. Okay. Um, so basically the requirements for that, if you want specific details on how to apply to the program, uh, please visit either our uh, website on College Week Live um, because it's kind of a, a lengthy process for me to explain here in the limited time uh, that we have. So please either go to the College Week Live website or you can go to our main website which is www.calums.edu. That's C-A-L-U-M-S dot E-D-U. Okay. Okay, the next question is, uh, do you have law subjects for undergraduates? Absolutely, and actually uh, I teach a lot of the uh, legal courses at the undergrad le level as well. So we have courses in sports law, we have classes in healthcare law, um, we have classes in legal ethics, um, we have many different uh, legal courses. Um, so uh, if you're interested in undergraduate classes as well, they're available. Um, but we use integrate that along with our uh, paralegal program. Okay, so um, this is about the uh, um, for scholarships, right? The uh, information on scholarships. Do you know anything about that one? Yeah. So for the scholarships, uh, when you apply, we assess your. Uh, we assess your your application, and there are a lot of scholarships available. So um, right now we do have that 50% off. So uh, if you, if you apply, then that uh, you're you're able to get that. Okay. Yeah, and we also do help uh, you in finding scholarships. Uh, our student services is available to uh, help in order to uh, assist you in getting scholarships, whether it's within the university or external scholarships that are provided by the government. Okay, so um, at this stage, uh, if you have just any general questions about other programs um, uh, as far as um, you know, other uh, other programs that we might have at the university, please w uh, visit our website, which is calums.edu. Uh, um, again, both our website on uh, calums.edu and also our College Week Live uh, website will have all of the information on eligibility requirements, on applications, and on any other type of information um, that we need, uh, that you need to apply to our program. Um, at this stage, our time is pretty much running out. So again, thank you very much um, for listening to our program. Uh, we really look forward to seeing many of you here um, in beautiful Southern California at uh, California University of Management and Sciences. Again, my name is Puya Safar, Dean of the uh, uh, Paralegal Program. And I'm Sasha Safar, the Assistant Dean. And thank you very much for listening to our presentation.